Well, some people look like arm wrestlers. Michael Todds and uh, Steve Rogers of this world. Other people look like boy band members. Enter Chris Hambo Ham. But this guy with his purple streaks and his slim build is an absolute animal. And I should know I train with him at the freak shop in Lancashire, England. The man in the red shirt, Chris Hambo Ham, trying to rev himself up. He's one of Britain's top welterweights and a very, very fast athlete with an excellent top roll. He faces a brick wall from France in the form of Joseph Love. But he's never felt speed like Chris Hams, and this could be a shock for the Frenchman if Chris can get what he wants on the starts. I would uh, have to say that power would go in favour of Love, but the speed and the surprise factor. Go. Would be with ah. him. Whoa! There oh. we go. There's one on the board straight away. Chris Ham blasts through the hand of Joseph Love. And the Frenchman probably didn't know what hit him there. I've been on the receiving end of that myself in the freak shop at training with this man. And believe me, Chris Ham and is a very, very dangerous man from the start. But you can see now it's a new and much more intense Joseph Love. I think now he's ready for what's coming. And the Frenchman wrist. needs to try and wrist. redress the balance wrist. early. Wrist. Train that wrist. Well, they're super powerful. If he can stop the match, Go. the pendulum's in his favour. And that time, mm. he manages to take the edge off Chris. And we go into the strap match. Now, that may favour the Frenchman because the old adage is that the straps favour the power man. Some would tend to disagree, but uh, yeah. while it does open a new book of techniques, the strap certainly can help a man apply his power. And you can see from the thick joints, the thick hands and wrists of Joseph Love, originally of Hungarian descent, now based in... Oh, look at that. I was going to say based in France, but uh, he took away my uh, chain of thought completely there, Joseph Love, with an impressive stop and win. Yeah. Up to your back. Then you need to up in his hand. Get him straight, up in his hand. Andy Barker and Ted Wilson, the lads from the freak shop in the corner of Chris Ham, giving him some advice, telling him to hammer the hand of Joseph Love to get uh, the power into the fingertips and take away the strength advantage that the Frenchman has. Oh, both men hitting with speed. But Chris doing his job well as the straps are applied. He did manage to bust open the... Uh, Hand and wrist of Joseph, but Joseph Levy looked right in the match to me. And the last time the strap was applied, it did him a lot of favours. The man in the black T-shirt was able to stop Chris to hook him up. And from there, looked in cruise control. Chris now created distance. He's balled his palm up. And look how he's putting all the pressure backwards towards his own nose. Into the hand, and there's the big speed from Chris Ham, and he's exposed the hand of Joseph Love. Now the Frenchman is in all kinds of trouble, now he tries to drive, but Chris Ham has busted the hand wide open. You can see how much stronger the Frenchman is on the arm, because he's holding Chris up there in an ugly position. He tries to push Chris off the back and calls it, uh, but Chris takes the pin, and good effort from Joseph Love there, a wise, wily head on that one, trying to push Chris off the back of the pad. Ted Wilson works the arm of Chris Ham. Yeah. Gregory Schneider is the man with words of advice for Joseph Love. Good win for Ham. You can see on the replay, exposed the hand of Love early. Now, Joseph here, busted back, tried to press Chris off the back of the pad there and called the foul to the ref. But Keith Taylor, too experienced for that. <laughs> and often when a referee calls... Uh, for the pin, Down. and the wrestler's calling his own foul, and going to make him suspicious. There's a big hit again. Frustration evident on the face of Chris Ham because he wants to finish these matches, and probably a little nervous when uh, he's unable to do so quickly. He doesn't want to get embroiled in any long matches with a man that he probably feels is a stronger man than himself. LeBay in the black shirt, wrestling out of Marseille in France. Hungarian descent originally. He's a very powerful, stockily built athlete. 
Go. He's been impressive here at the Trafford Centre this weekend. Ham with a huge hit. Now Chris has moved to the back of the pad and he has a natural leverage advantage, a long arm and a lot of power in the back pressure. But there's the counter. And you can see that Joseph Lové is shaking with the effort that he put into that counter hit. But he's in a terrible position and Chris Ham has room to work. He moves to the back. You can hear the advice from Andy Barker, because his teammate in the crowd. What a counter attack there from Joseph Lové. And Chris Ham needs to move forward with the elbow. What an absolute war this one is. Ham now takes control of the hand again. Joseph Lové trying to use the bicep to drag that to the finish. But he can't finish, and he's desperately open. Chris Ham comes on top with the shoulder, needs to get tight, needs to drive forward into the arm of LeVay. There's the pin, what a war that one was. Chris Ham takes it to three. He knows now he can't lose, but wow, what a battle. How much has that taken out of both men? I can only assume that... Uh, Love will have got the worst of it because he was busted wide open. His hand and wrist were driven back. Chris Ham was in quite a good position throughout that, but a little bit of panic setting in, and had it not been for the advice of his teammate, Andy Barker, and there's very few people who could advise you better in that position. Barker, a master technician, and a man who, if he can stop the match, very, very rarely loses it. And he was advising Ham throughout, and it did a job because Chris Ham is now at three. Joseph Lovey of France, this, this, of unable to get the power down. He's clearly got the stronger arm of the two men. But the leverage advantage and the speed advantage is with the man in the red T-shirt. Hambo, Chris Ham from Great Britain. Currently number two in the UK in the welterweight section. Former multiple British champion is Ham. He's a slim, rangy athlete with a lot of speed, a lot of intensity out of the blocks. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, but you can see him much thicker, much more powerfully built athlete. He's the man in the black. With a wry smile on his face, he's looking at Gregory Schneider in the crowd. His coach giving him some words of advice yeah. on how yeah. to protect that hand, and he needs to... Uh, take that advice because that's where he's been exposed mm -hmm. ah. Love a very experienced been wrestling since the late 90s Sam, less experienced but he's the man with the advantage there's the hit again and straight away signature top roll now he's in control and Joseph Lovey looks a little bit less desperate than he was last time, but he is in terrible shape there. The hand and wrist has busted back, and the strap has retightened around his palm, which will prevent him from adjusting, and it does. And Chris Ham moves to four, and he has won the arm wrestling match. Acknowledged by the really discontented look on the face of Lovey there. I think he made a mistake off the start. You can see on the replay, to be fair to Joseph, he had no chance of recovering from there. He was in awful position, and Chris managed to get right up his hand, the strap loosening, exposing the hand of the Frenchman badly. Go! Oh, big hits from both men, and the strap will be applied, but Chris Ham should be a little more relaxed now. He's carved under with his elbow. Take that off. Take that carb off. Take it off. Carving in. Some harsh words from uh, Keith off. Taylor, a referee, trying to I'm not gonna let it go. straighten the wrist. And to be honest, Turn Joseph, the wrist looks good to me That's there. there. He goes. Cutting under a little. And there it is. He's going for the tricep press. And it's had a degree of success there as he's managed to bone line Chris a little bit. But Chris is staying with it. Monkeying his way down to the pad, bouncing and swinging on the arm of Joseph Lové. Tries to bounce again, tries to just wriggle his hand up into the strap a little more. He needs to adjust that hand, really. There it is, and now the secondary hit. There it is again, get, applying the leverage and increasing his own leverage. What a job by Love hanging on to that. He's almost straight arm, but he's in desperate trouble. His fingers are positioned somewhere down on the wrist of Chris Ham, and it's it's evident to the man's arm strength that he can absolutely wow. hang on to that to the death and that probably hurt him 
Vamos, vamos. 